Hello everyone, Captain Spidey Fist here, and we are looking at Elder Scrolls Blades on the Nintendo Switch, and I am, as always, recording in handheld mode, because whenever it comes to the Switch, I think what it looks like in handheld mode is one of the most important things, because in my opinion, that is the best way to play the Switch. So, what we're going to do is we are in the abyss right now, and we're just going to take a look at the combat, we're going to take a look at the graphics, and I'm just going to talk about the game a little bit. Um, really all I wanted to do was just show some gameplay for, uh, for the Switch. Man, I just can't seem to hit this guy. Let's hit him with some magic instead. There we go. So, uh, I just wanted to talk about the, uh, the gameplay, how it looks, and then the fact that it's, it's released. You know, I, this isn't really like a full, like, comprehensive review of the game, more of just me giving, like, my opinions on it and showing some gameplay. So, first off, um... Up until this point, the game has not been released as a full game, right? So uh, there were a lot of reviews done on it back whenever it was still in beta, but the game has only just recently officially released, right? So, I mean, I don't, I don't know how to put it other than it was too early to judge the game, I suppose, because the game that we're playing right now with the official release is so different compared to the game that, you know, even just a couple months ago, before, you know, they removed, like, chest timers and stuff like that. It's so different, because now there's no chest timers. You find a chest, you can open it right away. Uh, you defeat an enemy before enemies only drop a little bit of gear. Now, if you're not, I mean, we're in the abyss right now, so they're not really going to drop uh, much stuff other than gold. But if you're playing the actual story modes, if you're going in, you're playing, like, the little side challenges and stuff that pop up, you're playing the side quests... Those characters you defeat there, they're actually going to give you some gear that you can take to town, you can sell, you can actually build up your town uh, a little bit quicker because you're not, you know, you don't have that paywall that you had to go through in order to buy more crystals, to open up your chests faster, to buy more gear. It's, I mean, it still has some free-to-play aspects because it is a free-to-play game. They are still going to put up, you know, offers on your screen all the time. They are still going to do all the free-to-play things that you would expect from a free-to-play game. But there's something, I don't know, it, it still just feels like a fun game. It's, uh, cause it is, it is a fun game. Um, we're gonna just go down to the next level, um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you back to the town, and I'm gonna show you around the town, and essentially how this game works is you are going to go, you're gonna play quests, you're gonna defeat enemies, you're gonna collect resources, and then you are going to level up your town in order to be able to go and be stronger to play other missions to collect more resources and stuff like that so we're going to head into our town and we're just going to take a look around and this is in my opinion where the game kind of uh, drops in quality um, you can start to notice like the the frame rate is a little bit slower as you walk around town it kind of gets choppy and i think it's just because there's so many variables in the town that, you know, it kind of bogs the game down as you're walking through it. But I feel like that's definitely something that they'll probably work on in the future because in handheld mode, it's not as noticeable. But if you're playing this docked, you are going to really notice it. Like, it is very noticeable. Even running through my M Classic, I was able to, uh, I was able to tell pretty easily that the frame rate wasn't doing so hot. But we are walking through the town here. And all you're going to do is you're going to gather resources, you're going to get gold, you're going to come in here, you're going to build these things up, you're going to increase your town level, which will allow you to increase the level of like your blacksmith and stuff like that, will, which will help you get more armor, which you, then you can craft your own, you can buy stuff from him. It plays very, very similar to any of the other Elder Scrolls games with the exception of this is a mobile game, so it has some of those mobile aspects to it. They did add in uh, PvP, so PvP exists. You can go over here uh, to the side of town, and you only get to create one character, which I've always, whenever I played like an Elder Scrolls game, I've always had multiple characters that I created, and I played each one of them a different way. But for this game, you can only create one character, and if you want to change the race, you want to change the gender, you want to change how it looks, you decide you don't want a beard, you can come over here to Theodore Gorlash and you can change that stuff. So if you were playing in the uh, in the pre-release, the early access, if you were playing that 
and you made a character and you don't like the way that that looks because all you're going to do when you start the game is you are going to, if you have played that, sign into your Bethesda account and it will automatically populate that game onto your Switch. And if you don't like that character, we'll just go up there and change it. It's not a big deal. Uh, it only costs 50 crystals or so, 50 gems. And you can get 50 gems pretty quickly now. I mean, you can actually... Uh, you can actually get them while before they were kind of locked away. You can only get like a couple a day. Now you can get, I mean, I think today so far I've already gotten like 60. But I think that's also because of the initial release of the game and stuff like that. But, I mean, that's really going to be it for the video. If you have any questions about it, uh, feel free to drop it in the comment sections below. But this is a free-to-play game. It is Elder Scrolls. It's fun. Uh, it looks good, with the exception of the town dropping some frame rates and stuff. But that's it for the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so that way you can stay up to date with the things that I'm doing. I am Captain Spidey Fist, and I'm out of here.